2024 winter trends that we are seeing all over social media. Number one, little bows. This is probably the most adorable of all the trends that we are going to be talking about today and I feel like it probably is a byproduct of how strong ballet core has been all year long and all last year too. We're seeing girls tie little ribbons all in their hair which I think is so fun. Having a little bow as a hair accessory I think really has the ability to change the vibe of your outfit and kind of put a little bit more personality into it. I'm also seeing so many people just take ribbons and either tie it to their clothes, tie it around their waist, maybe pin it to their pants or their, their clothes like in any aspect which I think is so cute and such a fun way to take something that you already have in your closet and transform it into something that has a different different vibe, a different aesthetic. The best part about this trend is it really costs like little to no money to get on this trend. You really don't have to invest in a new piece in your closet. You don't really have to go out and buy something that is incredibly expensive. You can just get ribbon like from the dollar store and just tie little bows and use safety pins and pin them to your clothes. You can just tie it around the elastics in your hair and I just think that that's such a fun thing about this trend. It's so low commitment. You can just kind of experiment and have fun. Also, hello guys. My name is Katie. I make fashion content here on YouTube. If you are a fashion girly, you have absolutely come to the right place. You're definitely going to want to hit that subscribe button because, oh my goodness, I have so much fun to come. But let's move on to the next trend. Number two, satin maxi skirts. So I spend a lot of time exploring Pinterest and having fun on Instagram. And this outfit, is one that I have not been able to escape, which, it, you know, isn't a bad thing because I actually really like this outfit. I think it plays really well into the quiet luxury aesthetic that has been super trending the past year, and it also gives this really elegant and classy girl vibe, which I personally love. I think the best part about this, especially for being winter, is with a maxi skirt, you can kind of wear anything underneath. You can wear like a double pair of leggings. You can wear like those thick fleecy tights. So it's really something that, you know, depending on your climate, you can really adjust to yeah your environment i'm specifically seeing this satin maxi skirt the specific outfit is with a big oversized sweater over top and again that's such an easy piece to layer a bunch of things underneath and you could even throw on a really nice coat over top and it's such a gorgeous and elegant outfit it's also super effortless and it just has that kind of look to it that you tried a lot harder than you did when reality is you just threw on a sweater and a pretty skirt and walked out the door. Number three, the pantsless trend. And our queen, Kendall Jenner, really started this off, what was it? Was it this year? Was it late last year? I don't remember, but we all know that picture of Kendall Jenner. And I'm not gonna lie, I honestly really like this trend. I know that that's a little controversial because this is, I feel, one of those very polarizing trends because it's kind of like shocking almost. And we have been seeing a lot more kind of lingerie inspired fashion coming into play over the past few years. And this is I think just another version of that. And personally, I really like it. I feel like it has this beautiful elongation of the leg. And I think that there's a way to do this in a really classy and elegant way. And specifically, the way that I have been seeing it on social media for winter is with tights. And I think that that's a very easy way to make it not feel like you're kind of wearing underwear and to also give a little bit more practicality to the outfit. I really love this trend. It's something that I want to kind of step into and like play with a little bit. It's not something I'm going to personally go out and invest in, you know, these really teeny tiny shorts just in case like that doesn't end up being something I like long term, but I definitely have like little spandex shorts that I will wear under my dresses and my skirts that I think would be perfect for exploring with this trend and just kind of playing around with styling. 
I saw Delaney's child. She's one of my favorite fashion girlies here on YouTube. I'll have her linked below and also all of the content that you guys are seeing that I'm posting on the screen. I will have my Pinterest board linked down below as well. So if you want to see any of the things and any of the other creators that I have included in this video, you will be able to find them. But Delaney is in England with her husband at the time or her fiance at the time that I'm filming this video and she is just posting the best outfits and she has leaned into the pantsless trend for a few of her outfits and I love her styling of it. I think that she did such a good job of making it really classy and elegant and wearable and that's something I really appreciate because this is one of those trends that can go from like being completely out of reach and not wearable at all but you can also take it to a level that is wearable and i think that she has just done such a great job of demonstrating how to make it a wearable piece or a wearable trend and it definitely gave me a lot of inspiration of how i can personally style this trend trend number four a pop of red this is no surprise to anyone red has been the color of the season the first way that we are seeing this is very minimal like just with a little red accessory maybe a little red bow just like a like an actual little just pop of red like very small pop and then the second layer to this is red tights have been just dominating social media. It is so hot right now and I think that also these red tights is a great trend to jump on if you want to experiment with it a little bit because it comes at such a low cost. Tights aren't incredibly expensive. It's something I'm also seeing is the red tights paired with red shoes. It creates a long line. It just makes the leg look a lot longer, just a little illusion. And I think it just looks like really cool. I really personally love that. And then the other variation of red that we are seeing are full on all red monochrome outfits and these are for the bold girlies out there. I really love these monochrome red outfits. I really wish that I had, you know, a, a big like red coat or something and uh, so I could jump on this trend a little bit more. I think that it's just so bold, it's so stunning and red is just one of those really beautiful colors that kind of in my opinion never goes out of style so if you did invest into this trend i really think that these color pieces as long as they're in a classic and not trendy silhouette they would stand stand the test of time trend number five is dark gray and i have not really personally noticed gray having such a power moment as it is in fashion right now but it's a very specific kind of gray it's this really dark ashy gray and i just think that it's just so beautiful gray is absolutely having its moment this year alongside red and i I'm kind of surprised that I like it as much as I do. I'm not personally as much a gray girly myself, but how I've been seeing it everywhere in these really like dark, rich gray colors, it makes me really inspired. And I definitely have my eye out when I'm doing any kind of shopping for that color because it is something that I would like more in my closet for sure. Trend number six is Sherpa. So there's definitely different aspects to this trend that I am noticing. And the first one is like these black leather, kind of almost oversized moto style jackets that are lined with Sherpa around the collar and the cough and the, and the coughs and the cuffs. I am a little bit sick if you can't tell by how my voice sounds. So maybe that is why I just said cough, I don't know. The next layer of Sherpa that we are seeing is just kind of like full on all sherpa out, like full on Sherpa accessories, like a full on Sherpa, like puffer or jacket. And I just, oh, I just think it's so cute, especially like the purses, the Sherpa purses, I think are so precious and so adorable. It just kind of gives like teddy bear, cozy teddy bear vibes, but it's like a purse and I don't know, it's kind of almost like you're carrying around a little stuffed animal, sort of. I don't know, that's it, that's how my mind works, <laughs> a little insight into my thoughts. I really like these practical trends that like serve like a massive purpose, especially in winter because it's just so cold and it's, you know, 
personally for me, tough to get dressed in the morning because I just want to be warm and cozy. And with this Sherpa being a trend, it's just, it's just giving teddy bear. And that just makes me happy to think about like walking downtown, going and grabbing a cup of coffee, all teddy bear out in my little Sherpa this, that, or the other. Trend number seven and the last trend that I will be discussing in this video is faux fur coats. So again, there's different layers to this and different things that I'm personally noticing. So the first one is kind of like this, like 2000s throwback, kind of almost Lizzie McGuire vibes of like the faux fur around the collar and around the cuffs. And I love that. I love that trend. I think that this kind of coat is so stunning and so beautiful. And it's one that I'm definitely keeping my eye out because I want to add that into my closet. I feel like it just has such a classic aesthetic. It kind of almost gives old Hollywood vibes for me too. Alongside that, there's this like Slavic ice princess snow bunny aesthetic that is so popular right now. And I just think it's so cute. And so we're talking about like the hats, we're talking about, you know, kind of like the same style coat that I was just describing, but it's just giving like winter princess vibes at the ski slopes and I am so here for it. If I lived somewhere snowy or I was going somewhere snowy, this would be the aesthetic that I would live in every single day just because I think it's just like glamorous and fun. And then the last version of faux fur that we are seeing are just like full on all out jackets in faux fur and again it's still warm cozy practical it just seems so like luxurious and just i don't know ooey gooey delicious that i would love to wrap myself up in Anyway, so that is all of the trends that I have personally been noticing on social media and also personally been loving for myself. Obviously, there's a lot of other trends that are happening in fashion right now, and if you have a personal favorite that I didn't mention in this video, or if I already did mention your personal favorite, I still want to hear what you have been loving in winter fashion or what you've been noticing on social media as of late. So that is all I have for you for this one, you guys, and until next time, bye friends. <music>